36. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right. Okay. And what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just feel like sticking to the code. Who? Who a dirty ass hoe? What? Oh, 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 what's up? Bitch ass nigga, what's up? We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. Pie down. Pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaiming Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. What's Hello. your name? My name is Alistair. Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay. And what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay. And what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just felt like sticking to the code. You know, I didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and whatnot. But I don't know, I just feel like I should be sticking to a code right now. Okay. What do you mean by sticking to the code? Just, that's honestly like, you know, I just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot, so yeah. That's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. Reminded <laughs> you of what? <laughs> no, because, um, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being a, in law enforcement. And um, so I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem, there's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. Oh, I, I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, Alistair, is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yeah, I'm very respectable for every individual that I meet. I'm very respectable. Got it. Thank you. Thank All you for right. having me. Thank you. All right, let's go on back. Wow. So, he was a deputy sheriff, and the woman denied him. Many of the women denied him. Black women denied this black man who was doing the right thing working a good job because he is a deputy sheriff and he's a police officer and the woman gives the reason why she denied him is because of sticking to some code and we all know what code that is that's the street code the street code is essentially what has become black culture period there's no argument against it i hate when people try and argue me down this point you're never gonna win and and every time i say well come on my live stream and let's debate they say I ain't got time to do that, but you got time to comment and get in the comments and, and, and throw a fit, but you won't admit that the street code uh, has co-opted black culture and, and or, or vice versa, and that is essentially the makeup of the black community, uh, 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 you know, pertaining to abiding by some street code that doesn't do you a lick of good in the end. See, here's the thing. When you are a relationship and marriage-minded individual, especially a man, a black man, you're looking for family. You're looking for camaraderie. You're looking for safety. You want law enforcement. You want law and order. You want to be able to feel safe with your children in your home. And these, these ridiculous, ratchet, ghetto, black women denied this man because he was in law enforcement. Ridiculous. Now, I'm not saying he... They have to be, you know, attracted to him or whatever. But the fact that she admitted that she re rejected him because she's abiding by a street code that, quite frankly, in the re in the real, if you if you're dating a thug Max Alpha Sim, a real thug Max Alpha Sim, and he has beef, I'm telling you right now, they will Swiss cheese your behind and not think twice. If you don't think that these thug Max Alpha Sim black men give a damn about killing a black woman, you're out of your goddamn mind. Okay. So the fact that you're denying this man because he's in law enforcement and, and he has he has sworn an oath to protect and serve and, and make sure that whoever he's, uh, you know, protecting is safe and you're denying him. By the way, he's a Malcolm, mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable man. Right. 
you're denying him based off of that? Ridiculous. These women, for one, looking like transformers, transsexuals, BBL'd up, fake body, fake hair, and got the nerve to deny the man because he is in law enforcement trying to make his community better. You know, black people love saying, oh, well, police our own. We need to police our own. We have the ability to police our own. But then the women refuse to date, reproduce, and, and, you know, so what incentive do black men have to go into law enforcement when they know that black women think it's lame? You're corny if you go into law enforcement. You got bullied, so now you want to be a cop to take back your power. These are the narratives that I hear about black law enforcement. And it, it on the contrary, these are good men putting their lives on the line to protect and serve this country, period. It's Big Lee and TM back in the cut. I just got one more thing to say. This fat ass, funny looking black ass bitch just told me that I need to get on a treadmill. Bitch, fuck you and your fat ass mama, bitch. Nigga, look at your teeth. It look like somebody shot dice in them hoes. Look at your fake ass Jordans, bitch. You bald. Who bald? Mikey, my ball? And my ball, Nick? Asia, my ball? Baby, I got a head full of hair, bitch, outside of this motherfucking wig. Small dick ass nigga, fat ass bitch. You talking about me. He talking all this shit about me. But baby, you in the same white class as me, bitch. I'm a thick ass bitch. I got Fat ass and titties, ho. The fuck? Talking shit about me, ho. You get on a fat, you get on a fucking treadmill. You broke ass nigga. Show me a fucking band, bitch. Show me a band. Show me a band. That's who? That's who? That's who? The fuck? This shit, this shit, this shit. Who? You. Who a dirty ass ho? What? Bitch ass nigga, what's up? Bitch ass nigga, bitch. And there you have it. There it is right there. Why don't black men approach black women? Why don't black men do this? Why don't black men? Perfect example. Everything, every reason why black men are saying, hey, you know, we're done with black women. We're becoming passport bros. We're becoming MGTL dub. We're becoming SYSBM. We're, we're leaving the community behind. We're not raising your kids. We're not cuffing single mothers. We're not cuffing overweight women. 75% of the black women are overweight. We're not doing it. And this, this, this video encapsulated, we're not dating women with bad attitudes. We're, we're done with that. This video encapsulates it. Guys, guys, and, and a lot of times, these guys, they're dressed like Thug Max Alpha Simp. They, they have the Thug Max Alpha Simp swag on and they still cannot get, they, 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 they st this woman put hands on this man. They still can't overcome the attitude and they're all Thug Max Alpha Simps. Even the Thug Max Alpha Simp is having trouble dealing with these women this is what i'm trying to tell you this is what i'm trying to explain to you guys but you're not listening you're overlooking it you 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 think that i'm just making shit up you think i'm just talking out the side of my neck but this is the reality this is where we are with it y'all seen how she popped off real quick fat ass nigga this ass nigga this that and third ass nigga bro i told you guys do not let these women call you the ninja word. If she does, you have to leave her, period. It is a sign of disrespect. It shows that she does not respect you. It shows that she thinks you are a little boy, less than dirt, a ignorant ninja. Guys, we all, as a community, we, we just gotta say no. Shorty is over here 250 pounds talking shit, dog. And she's trying to tell this man that he's fat. Honestly, he's pretty swole. He's pretty jacked. And it's absolutely crazy that you have women that are 250 pounds talking about they're thick. Jesus Christ. I mean, but this is where we're at. This is the, 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 the level of insanity that we're combating. And Umar tells you, Umar tells you, you have to cuff this. This is what Umar's telling you. This is what Umar's telling you. Right? He says, you have to cuff this. 
You can't leave this sister hanging, even though he left his two baby mamas hanging. They're not married to him. So what are we talking about here? So 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 tell me that that we're wrong for walking away. Anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaiming Throw. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See your relationship code to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app. So no opinion on the man. Y'all already be on your market game with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Come an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.